How y'all doing? We're here with Ginger and the Desert Creations. It is time for Halloween, and boy, is this piece given fall. Now, if you're looking for something that is dead easy, that gives the impression of talent, this is your thing. <laughs> Let's go, babe! If you simply must know how we got into this mess, then I'll watch after the fade at the end. We talk about geeking out on color. I uh, walk you through all of the colors that I'm using and show you how I put them down. But if just seeing how the magic is made is good enough for you, here we go. We are doing a ghost swipe that we kind of torture the hell out of. <laughs> Grab them this way from approximately the center line and just pull, pull, pull right out and watch the magic happen. Keep moving right along. Going excellent so far. Technically there probably is too much paint uh, in the center to be considered an actual ghost swipe because the ghost swipe should get really vague and wispy towards the, the edges and this is not. It's a little wispy but it's it's nowhere near what it would be for an actual wispy ghost swipe but we are happy with it because it is insanely fall feeling so far. We just sweep right along. Letting everything just show up as it sees fit. And you can see as it mellows, the, there's not as much white present on the top, although there will be quite a bit of it. A lot of orange this way. Hopefully more red will present itself. There's a little bit of red in there. We'll try not to screw that up. Okay, now I'm going to make it easier to use my B-roll if I want to. Turn that around. And here we go. Swiping this up. I'm going to start here. Because I kind of don't want my lines to match up. I shouldn't be pulling it directly out over the, uh, the finished piece. That is way, way to find danger. I love the dark that's going on there. That is fantastic. miss that center bit. I'm trying not to miss the center bit, but it doesn't matter too much that I have because we are going to bend the center to our will.
There's a bit more red going on in here. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Gonna pull from that white and over. I have to go over that again. It didn't go up right. Much better. Alright. <laughs> I love little bits and pieces of this. There's some really interesting smears. Let's see if we can be a little bit more precise though, shall we? Grab it with a smaller implement. Like that. And kind of ah, here as well. That is phase one complete. You have to decide which end is up. I guess I'm going to call this the bottom. And this is going to go out into the top. I'm going to go with that. Let's start by kissing it with fire. Just to pop some bubbles like how it is starting out. Now we change tactics because this is our background. As we start going this way. Oh, I scraped a lot. Keep working down until we feel like we have an awesome gnarly tree. One more on each side, maybe. Getting the colors mixed into the white, that's okay though. Don't mind that too much.
little bit too much off that edge. That's a little unfortunate. There is something in the paint right there. I saw it move. That is not... That is not desirable. I'm going to try to pull it with this line, though. <laughs> Look 
looks like it came from the black, maybe. I like the look of just a big old gnarly branch coming out. So we are going to risk doing it low down on the tree. I didn't like that black dot just hanging out there. Let's see. I want to give this. A big root profile, because it should have roots as big as the crown. If you want to talk tree proportions. lines a little better so it doesn't just have a little stompy sitting there. Pop the bubble. Just sitting there looking like it might be something in the paint. 
We are done. Does it look Halloween to you? Let's see how I can do getting a, getting a wet result for you here. This thing is just so impressive. Holy crap. She's a beauty. Stay tuned for the result. Oh baby, I don't know if she is given Halloween, but my goodness, is she given Autumn with all her might. This is Autumn Empress. Let's check her out from head to toe. The star of our show is the Dorado Gold. So much so that I feel like I'm becoming a DJ. Check it out. Honorable mention to the black. There are, what, four very distracting black cells in here that popped up, particularly that one on the trunk, but kind of the ones on either side. The thing is, is I could kind of control that by choosing another color, but then I would lose some of these effects, and we don't want that now, do we? Can I show you that sheen at all? Cause that gold is insane. Oh yes, I love this one. Let's back it up again and see if I don't hit into the wall. Thank you very much. That is Autumn Empress. If you want to geek out with me on color, stay tuned after the fade. If I'm losing you now, thanks for hanging out. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye bye. For Halloween, we be, we be as cliche as can be. We've got reds, oranges, a little bit of sparklies, and a teeny, teeny, touchy yellow. So, we've got Creative Inspirations Crimson, Azo Red Deep from Soho, Soho Cadmium Orange Hue, Soho Cadmium Orange Deep, Artessa Carmine, Folk Art, Treasure Gold, Fire Opal, Mud Mark Yellow Deep, Chroma Molt Metals, Dorado Gold, Arteza, Pearl Papaya. I got white paint on me already. I just barely put on these gloves. What the hell? Soho, Cadmium Orange Deep. These are the same thing. They're supposed to be. They don't look quite the same now, do they? Nope. Not, not quite, but... Yeah, just so that we can use it up. So that we can use it up. That's why they're both there. Because they are the same thing. And we will have probably most of what is left of this uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black and our swipe color. The uh, Amsterdam Titanium Hoop. Wait, of course, doing lovely, lovely, beautiful things mixed with... Uh, Penetrol. Some of these are mixed with Minwax wood conditioner. Many of these actually it looks like. That's Penetrol, Minwax, Minwax, Penetrol. So still got both because I'm using old paint. I think my swipe color is a little bit thick, but uh, we're dealing with it. Big old base coat of our Amsterdam black. Hop in here with my paws and see how much coverage we have. I would call that pretty good. Now all we're doing is put the stripe of each color 
down the center line. Kind of do two stripes is probably advisable because of the way that the swipe is done. gonna put the sparkly ones on the top. Need the sparkly ones to be on top. Definitely got a Halloween vibe. Yay. Yellow. Nice bright yellow. But not too much of it because it kind of makes greens when it's associated with the black, which is kind of okay for Halloween-ish, but uh, still not, not necessarily ideal. Stripes of the pearly colors on top. They may get lost, they may just be a little bit of a sparkle, who knows? All we know is they were invited to the party. There's a lot of paint on here, but that's okay. Dorado Gold's a little thick. Probably a lot thick, but that's okay. Very thick. Very, very thick. This is left over. Arguably too thick. this is thicker than what comes out of the bottle, which is not advisable. But, oh well. It's what we got. It's what we're working with. I could fix it, but I don't want to. Right. So that is essentially what we start with. So you've seen it. Now I need to make it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.